now what are we gonna get into? New credits currency. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, when I get on my. Shot meter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we got kind of the same deal. Yeah. Gameplay looking kind of similar, bruh. Uh, gameplay looking kind of similar, bruh. Yes, everybody, man. Let's gather around. Let's gather around in a circle, man. Let's come together, man, for season nine, man. I'm here to make sure season nine is going to be something completely different. We need creativeness like we've been getting before we ever even head in the seat headed into season four i feel like somewhere between the line you know in season four you know to right now in season eight i feel like some somewhere down the line the game just got dried up i don't know i don't know if we need to blame it on the live pass or whatever but you know the the state where the game is at right now I don't I don't know if EA doesn't have the funds or whatnot you know to make their game good or whoever the uh I mean don't get me wrong don't get me wrong man the, the graphic design of the cars it's, it's okay but how do we go from having a game where you know all types of abilities and a little bit of boost and not that much boost how, how do we come to having cars that can go up to 125 attribute ratings and stuff like that what happened to what happened to attributes maxing at 99 something that's you know uh i would what's the word i'm looking for something that makes common sense you know like who has ever heard of like a 125 three-pointer or 125 dunking if you have like if you have like the maximum or something man you know playing 2k over the years the maximum of an attribute would be like 99 or something like that but um the reason i think they trying to make stuff like the max 125 i think is you know I guess they came up with ideas on how they could make some money. If you guys want to make money in this game, man, just bring back bundles. Have stuff that's like guaranteed from time to time. And actually, first of all, first of all, if you want people to spend money or if you want people to be even tempted to spend money, first things first you need to keep players on your platform because ain't no way in hell a creator like qjb done went from posting nba live mobile content getting over 100k views on each video that he posts that he posts and upload on youtube i'm talking about i'm talking about og nba live mobile like season one season two season three I'm talking about those seasons with clutch abilities, dunk abilities, mid-range abilities, all types of abilities, man. How did he go from like having, you know, tons of views to the game being so dry as it is now? You know, I was looking at some of QJB's old videos. I think it was um, season four, it may have been. I was looking at this dude getting excited, opening up. A 85 overall pack and he pulled an 85 overall base elite player anthony davis you could and you can you can actually go to the video i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave the, i'm gonna leave the link to the video down in the description i want you guys to click on that link go to the video and i want you to guy i want you guys to notice what i'm telling you right now just look at his you know demeanor and you know expressions he himself doesn't even look like he's filling the game at this point you know that same season he playing is the same season we got right now is because they've been you know dropping the same bull crap that we've been having all this score machine boost and stuff like that how many seasons are we going to get like we first of all all this scoring machine boost I, I just came back from like playing NBA uh, live mobile I just came back like in season six I don't know how long they've been having this all this you know 
scoring machine, all this combo guard boost and crap in the game or uh, paint monster boost or whatever the case may be. It, hey, I'm not going to lie. It was all good when y'all first came out with that stuff. But now people are, aren't really getting excited about it, especially, you know, since y'all making a whole bunch of stuff pay to win. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We we all we all know that a gaming company has to make their profits. We all know that. Heck, even I want to spend some money in the game from time to time, and even you guys want to spend money in the game from time to time. But when you put stuff in a game like how do we go from bundles to having like, you know, 5%? See, that's why that's where I think, you know, QJB left out of the game because you know the excitement of the game and you know what had people drawing you know attention to the game was his you know was pack openings opening packs and opening up bundles of 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 multiple packs and getting a high chance to pull like whatever you you would even be guaranteed to get a, a said event player in the pack but it will be like randomized but you will still be able to get like something guaranteed instead of having a five percent chance packs and if you don't get whatever the player is in a pack now you're just getting either a collectible or a stamina token or whatever so you're telling me like i could spend because they i've been seeing in a store you could go all right so let's check out the store first off let's check out the store man let's check out the store Let's see if we can find like a, a, a 5%. Because I, I seen a couple of days ago, it was like a chance pack. It was like a chance pack in the store for like $9.99. You want me to pay damn near $10 for for one chance pack? Well, 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 I think it was like two chance packs, but I'm not sure. Um, Let's see if we can, let's see if we can uh, find one or whatever. I know it's one up in here. We got the back to school super starter for $29.99 all right so the three for one three time back to school player pack in 1050 NBA cash for $9.99 I would say if you put you know if you put this because it said it says times three back to school player back but if you look on the pack it says it's a 10% chance. You see, if it was a, if it was a, you know, if it was a 10%, and it may, it may even be a 10% chance to get a thousand and fifty NBA cash in the pack. Because ain't no, look, ain't no way EA is going to give you a thousand and fifty cash for just ten dollars. Because you come over here to the NBA cash section for um for just a dollar and 99 they only give you 200 cash so let's come over here to polar playmakers let's see what they got over here i know they got a chance pack chance pack up in here somewhere like this vip event like last season the vip event was like four dollars and 99 cent everything it just got expensive like like man y'all y'all not even like i it, it, it look i I'm, I'm the type of person that actually want look this is exactly what i was trying to find right here this nice read pack right here it says times two 10 percent chance pack they want you to spend 20 dollars for a 10 percent chance of getting a player that you supposedly is going to spend twenty dollars on the ea ea must think we are billionaires or something they think we we making six figures a year it's like they're targeting people that only make six figures a year or something man like i think ea has gotten you know hypnotized by qj's b you know pack opening it and stuff like I, maybe qjb you know had the money for that maybe you know maybe he doesn't now I'm, I'm not trying to call qjb broke or nothing you know because you know 
everybody everybody you know will spend money in the game if, if it's a if it's affordable and if the stuff they are getting is is valuable enough to be able to even spend money in the first place like say say like i could spend twenty dollars say say like a a, a 20 time bundle pack for twenty dollars hey that's that's kind of worth it i get to open up 20 packs you know let's say let's say a new season drop and they drop in bundles and stuff like that like oh like og nba live mobile used to do you know and they're dropping like a 20 time bundle pack and you and you are guaranteed in the last pack like they used to to get you like an 85 overall elite player or a 90 overall elite player you know etc so to speak but man this is right here man that has drug this right here you know when qjb when qjb went away from nba live mobile man when i when i tell you man that guy took his viewers with him bro like man like qjb was like making this game you know what it was man until ea started getting greedy and push ea started to push away one of the biggest one of the biggest content creators you know that was you know keeping their game you know on higher levels you know at an uh, uh audience and attention rate but i mean look at this man look why who is who look listen ea ea listen if y'all want to make money we ain't got no problem with spending money in the game but ea you out of your ea it's like y'all are trying to you know target the people that's going to get confused by these packs or misled because if you see if they see this pack they'd be like oh i can i'm guaranteed to get 105 you know player card just by spending 20 dollars. oh let me go ahead and buy that they would do that but they won't be aware of that little 10 percent down there you know at the bottom right of the pack telling you it's a 10 percent chance to get the pack this this is the reason people don't want to play the game anymore man because it's gotten expensive and the game has gotten greedy and not even worth you know playing no more you know not only that you know i think why they dropped the chance packs in the game is because you know people were buying coins and stuff online basically you could go online and you could buy coins and you would set you would set that said so player on an auction house let's say you bought a million coins and then you go to the website you buy a million coins and then type in a player that you're going to be putting up on an auction house and say i put up a karis lavert card for one million coins and i bought one million coins uh, on the website for like five dollars i put the carriage lavert on the auction house for one million coins and whatever you know represent representative or whatever they have or any type of employee they have working on the website they go ahead and buy that card and bam i will have a million coins you know stuff like that is what ruined the game man because stuff like that is ruining their profits but i mean look 2k did the same thing like with 2k 23 and 2k 24 when people was buying you know uh mt online but now they're bringing they they are actually bringing back the auction house for 2k 25 and i think you know ea needs to do the same thing because not only is your greed ruining the game another thing bro is that the auction house doesn't even work man which makes people not even want to play the game at all y'all main issue of why people don't want to play this game anymore is because y'all y'all got the auction house fixed to where you know we can't even you know be able to sell cards half of the time because you don't you guys are so afraid that we are gonna that we are gonna buy coins on you know like on the website or wherever the case may be i mean if that's the case i mean let us do that it's better than not having any players on y'all platform at all i mean but hey man i'm i'm gonna keep dropping these free to play uh player events and, and you know so to speak you know 
because some of these videos I don't even monetize, you know. I'm just I'm just making videos right now to like grow my channel or whatnot. But you know, um, like I said, you know, you know, EA EA is probably counting on, you know, content creators like me to keep their game relevant because content creators like QJB, you, you know, is over there flourishing on, you know, my boy is playing Madden, Madden, you know, 2K, college football. He's over there on NBA 2K Mobile, you know, trying out NBA Infinite, trying out all different types of stuff because y'all don't want to do right. Look, listen. The main big thing, a part of this game, bro, is getting the auction house fixed back to where, you know, like previous season, how the auction, basically the auction house should get back to what an auction house should be, like how the game used to be. All right, y'all need to fix the, if y'all want people to play this game, bro, y'all got to fix the auction house. If not, heck, even I'm thinking about going away. Cause NBA 2K, NBA, a hey, NBA 2K Mobile, bro, it's looking, you know. I've been on the game from, like I said, I've been on the game from time to time on NBA 2K Mobile, and it's looking quite better than you know NBA Live Mobile. But I'm making this video, man, because as you guys know, we, I think, like the very next day, I think it's gonna be September. I don't know. I gotta look at the calendar, you know. But but we definitely still in August. Uh, me making this video right now, it's. We, we are still in August, but it's probably going to be uploaded the next day, which may be September, but I don't, I'm not really sure. But anyway, we are supposedly, season nine is supposed to be dropping sometime in October. So I'm just making these, I'm just, and if you, you guys been seeing all the videos I've been dropping lately, I'm making these videos to ensure season nine is going to be, you know, a season where everybody can enjoy the game and even new people and even people that were playing it, you know, past and past years to come, like, you know, back in 2016 when the game, you know, you know, first was coming out and stuff like that, when people were first playing, we can get those people um, that was playing OG NBA Live Mobile, we can get those players back on the game and we can start making content, content creator content on the game together man so we can get the game back to where it was man i need some i need to see more creativeness in the game man we need some more man and we, we need to stop seeing the same cars like draymond green or mike conley just like i was saying like uh y'all keep every time y'all get lazy y'all want to drop a mike michael conley card and this is exactly what i was talking about right here just a few days ago it was a. It, I, I had uploaded a video explaining every time EA gets lazy, they want to start dropping either a Draymond Green or a Mike Conley card. And the next day, they drop this map. They 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 they're gonna drop this uh, master mentors. Um, they're gonna drop this uh, master mentors promo with a Mike Conley. Just like I said, but I'm sorry for, you know, the stuttering or whatnot, man. I just, you know, want to get this game back to where it was so we can all enjoy the game. You know, because this, this game still has potential to be great, you know. And it was it was great to begin with, but, but now, man, the game is headed in a bad direction, man. And I think everybody needs to be aware of of that man everybody needs to be aware the game is heading in a bad direction man all this same stuff we're getting man not being creative and and duplicating events man like when i seen this back to school kevin durant let me where where is it at um when i seen this back to school kevin durant promo man this really you know this really upset me man because i we like we just seen this same like, i mean if y'all was gonna drop another back to school event uh promo why not just make another grandmaster why are you gonna use the same grandmaster we already had a back to school grandmaster kevin durant last season you're gonna give us another grandmaster kevin durant again for the next season of nba live mobile why call it season eight when you giving a season seven vibes it's not given season eight. It's given, you know, season seven 2.0. All right. 
But EA man, I'm I'm just saying, bro, y'all gotta fix y'all game, bro. You know, I, I can I, don't get me wrong, bro. I can make thumbnails to get y'all attention. I can make them. I can I can be clickbaity as hell, just like this video as you see right here, man. But I I just wanted you. I just it's not my intentions to get views. I'm not even money. I'm not even gonna monetize this video. I'm not gonna even monetize this video at all. So it's not you know my intention to get views. My intention, my real intention, as you guys see, of all the videos I've been posting on my channel. Uh, you can go check out the if you new to the channel go check out my recent videos I've been dropping stuff about you know talking about the auction house in season 9 I'm trying to ensure that season 9 you know we go back to the game's roots basically we go back to the game's roots and to do that we y'all got to y'all look fix the auction house Fix the auction house, cause EA man, we not gonna be spending no type of money. I'm, I'm telling you right now, EA, y'all might as well fix the auction house, because I'm gonna make sure every free to play event that y'all drop, I'm gonna make content on the free to play stuff. And everybody that's playing the game, everybody that's playing the game right now, anyway, regardless, is just looking forward to the free to play stuff, because you know the stuff that's pay to win. We have no problem with paying for the stuff that's pay to win, but damn, man. This shit is expensive as fuck. <laughs> this shit is expensive as hell, bro. I mean, hey, but if y'all guys, man, like this video, man, hit the like button, man. You don't have to subscribe, man, but if you leave a subscribe, man, keep y'all guys updated, you know, on NBA Live Mobile content and, you know, other stuff, but... Uh, make sure you comment down below, man, what you guys think about the video, man, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Eating on papaya with my main thing. Baby, getting bread, I'm on the same thing. No rocks in it with a plain Jane. Put my on it, used to gang bang. They be trying to play me like a new guy, but I'm buzzing in the apple like a fruit fly. I'll be somewhere in Seattle getting neck bone. And I'm really not the one that you should rest on